I'm here with Karen from um, from the website On for Health, where um, she offers services of massage, Thai yoga massage, and also yoga lessons, uh, both public and uh, group and private. Private, yes, yes. Um, and uh, I want to talk today about the um, uh, about the chakras in general uh-huh. and particular. Um, discoveries I've had on um, on my journey in in now looking to work um, with these um, with these particular energy centers in the body mm-hmm. um, so Karen how um, how would you um, describe to a client obviously a client that's not in the know mm. what the chakras are okay it's, the chakras are a big area, but when we talk about the chakras, we talk about the main seven that mm-hmm. run along the spinal column, mm-hmm. um, and they go from the root to the crown of the head. Mm-hmm. Um, the way that I would describe them, as you earlier said, they're energy centres, they're wills of energy, mm. and um, when they get blocked and stagnated, um, we need to basically heal them. We can do that with the breath. And we can do that through yoga um, and massage. Any healing sort of body work that you do and breath work Mm. can enable the chakras to spin at their full functionality. Mm. So the chakras we take in, we take in the external into the chakras. um, And we also, we give out. They're like little mini planets, I would describe them. Um... And <laughs> would you say yes. then there's there's a quality of there's almost a quality of gravity to them, even if it's just spiritual ethereal gravity more than like planets, as mm. I say, like Mars, like Saturn, like Venus. Mm. They're there, they're suspended, so they're part of the subtle energy system. Um, they are there, and they're part of our energy body, our etheric body, um, and. They connect to the universe at large, basically. Mm. So, so it is. They are very much all about um, the um, the way those aspects of ourselves connect to the universe. Absolutely, absolutely, mm. yes. So, for example, if I was talking about the root chakra, that's about our connection to the earth. Mm-hmm. That's whether we're in our body or out our body. A lot of people that have had trauma in their life, they disassociate, so they'd really have to work with their root chakra. Mm. Um, and then you've got your creativity, your sacral chakra, um, and your sexual energy, um, mm. and then so on and so on. So they all relate to a personality trait, a spiritual trait, mm. um, food that we eat, mm. um, et cetera, et cetera. So you can put them in the universal context, mm. absolutely. Going a little further up, um, the chakra I've generally had the most problem with has been the solar plexus. So mm-hmm. what would you normally say to... Um, a typical client um, is causing um, blockages there. Okay, so I would look at digestion Mm -hmm. because that's the area that it's in. Mm -hmm. It's also about our personal will, our willpower, our our identity. Um, And as I say, that willpower, it's our power. Mm -hmm. And do we give it away easily? And how much are we in our own authority? So... If that's blocked, those are the aspects that you want to kind of look at. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um, so, so you would, I mean, I don't know if you'd um, often recommend relating um, to, to the chakras in, um, in the way of associating them to, to planets of the solar system or, um, or anything along those lines, but obviously people do do... They do do that. They mm. could do that. As I say, it's a very, very big area. Mm. Um, mm. Absolutely. But I don't know what the solar plexus chakra is, what planet it's particularly connected to, but they are connected to the planets because mm. we are all connected to the planets. We're mm. all connected to the cosmos. Mm. So it makes sense that the chakras are as well. Mm. Yes. Viewers will be interested to know but uh, that sorry, viewers are interested to know that mm. um, at my last private session with um, with Karen, doing about an hour of yoga, 
um, I ended up having an experience which I could only describe as being uh, within a breath's distance of moksha, moksha being the um, oneness, oneness mm -hmm. Vedic idea of um, of en enlightenment, mm -hmm. um, very, very much their equivalent of the Buddhist nirvana, mm -hmm. um, or at least paranirvana, um, and I, I felt from there uh, um, something which has spurred me on to to sort of feeling that the um, that the chakras can carry and, where necessary, project the energy of my skandhas, or so skandhas, the, the, the um, aspects of self mm -hmm. um, that, that obviously um, carry through that, that samsara as well as wisdom in, um, in life. So what I felt is that aligning um, deities, pagan deities in particular, Mm -hmm. given my path mm -hmm. um, to um, to each chakra mostly in pairs the, um, that way my um, skandhas are being more managed okay. um, through those connections with um, with the gods so what's what's your feeling about that um, again it's quite complex it's a big big area and everybody's mm. relationships to their chakras is going to be unique and in, individual to mm. them you mentioned that it's your personal path mm. and I'm glad to hear that from your experience that you felt more aligned more in touch with yourself mm. more at one mm. and that's great there's no right or wrong as long as mm. you're developing that awareness mm. and you're evolving because mm. that's what it's about fundamentally. As as long as we, in the in the end, become the yoga. As long as the as long as the yoga essentially is. Well, we are it. Mm. <laughs> that's the thing about it. We are already there, but mm. we are just we are remembering through the breath, through the body work, mm. through working with the chakras. Mm that we are already mm. that oneness, that peace, mm. um, so yes. I think, uh, I think that's, that's certainly something that I felt awakened to mm. um, when I made the, um, the video about um, mm. rains and soils and trees mm. for the viewers. Mm. Um, and what, what you say there about relearning is very much an idea that's in tune with um, the philosophy of, of Plato. Mm -hmm. In fact, as I've um, as I've learned through all of my years of doing philosophy, that um, I mean, would you would you say you subscribe very much to um, to that um, to that sort of idea in a way? Or I do. I mean, whether you want to call it remembering or whether you want to call it awakening. We are mm. just remembering and awakening to who we truly are. Mm. You know, what is our place in all of existence? Where do we fit? Mm. And am I at one with it? And mm. it's recognising, acknowledging. So yes, it is relearning. It, you can use any philosopher that you wish. Mm. If it makes sense, if it resonates. Mm. Um, Obviously, if it resonates, then that um, then that keeps us happier, and generally a, a feeling of um, attunement and consistent wisdom. Yeah, and I don't really particularly like to prescribe to one particular kind of dogma or this is the way. You know, mm. it's it's your way. This is your truth. This mm. is your path. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I'd say that's um, been absolutely great. Okay. Um, details of Karen's website on for health dot dot co dot uk um, will be in the video description. Okay. I definitely um, recommend Karen for massage or yoga. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Drew. Thanks very much, Karen, and thank you for watching the Other Branch channel. <laughs>